Martin and Neil alongside Simon uh, and myself this morning were live on TalkSport. Martin, what was your, your, your impression when you heard that another former top player had gone into management, Troy Deeney? Obviously, great career and will have learnt a lot along the way, so does it make sense? Yeah, why not? What, what's what's to prevent him from doing it? If, this, if it's something he fancies doing, uh, good luck to him. Yeah, in he comes, Forest Green Rovers. But the same Troy Deeney, who I know well, has apologised for criticising his own player, Fankati Dabo, in a post-match interview. Uh, he also claimed that his squad were a bunch of sulkers and he would rectify the problem by bringing in new players. So Troy went for it, didn't he? Ball was at the right back with Dabo, who was poor and awful again, and I've just told him, and he won't be playing on Tuesday, so he can have that from now. He's got it on the right back. We're going to go out to the opposite left is, is the game plan. How we get there will depend on their shape. If they come really pressing it tight into the into the midfielder, out the other side, 1v1, one, one one, and we go, oh, let's play through the middle and kick it up in the air as much as we can. But it's my fault, though, because I explained it and they all told me back afterwards, not, not in the game, they all told me back afterwards what we should do. Yeah, good fun. You say the likes of Dabo wasn't good enough today. Is, is that something not you... today? He's not been good enough for about five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks. Why do you think he was dropped at the start? This is the point, and I just told him in front of everyone. Six months ago, that kid had a kick to go to the Premier League. Now he won't get a game in the National League. So is that me or him? Because he's faster than everybody, a purely ability. But he gets run every game. He never makes a tackle, and every time the ball comes to him, he looks like he kicks it with his shin pads. That's it. That's the reality of it. So obviously you're happy to call out these players who aren't, you think aren't being good enough. Why not? I've got fans questioning me. So I'll stand here and do this. Where, where are they doing the media? Where's their post on social media? So 24 hours later, the same Troy Deeney was saying we're all learning on the job. Uh, I probably shouldn't have let that out. Uh, I've already spoken to Dabo and apologised. Obviously, he's calmed down a bit. But where do you stand, Martin, having managed at a very high level on Troy just saying post-match, you know what, I'm going to go for it with this guy. Not to the public. Absolutely not. He can say what he wants to him in the dressing room if the player's able to take it and if the other players are listening and he actually makes this point, um, but not to the public. He said, I've told him. No, you haven't, you haven't just told him. You've told us all about what he's done, what he hasn't done in the last eight or nine weeks, although seemingly you've continued to pick him in some of these matches that he hasn't performed well in. I think it was pretty, pretty poor. Just some sort of... Rafi's comments about him, I think, is uh, not for me. Absolutely not. And I think that's something... Do you know what? You, you learn on the job, if that's the case. I, I'm i hoping that somewhere along the way that nobody brings up some sort of thing that I mentioned uh, in public, you know, <laughs> criticising players in public just after a game, which I've said something to them in the dressing room. Hope I haven't done it. Whether Have you we, ever done Whether it? we've lost the game. Have you ever had to go at a certain I, player afterwards? I don't, and I don't know. It would, only be, it would only be in a jocular fashion, particularly if the player has done well. I'm absolutely and utterly convinced about that. Absolutely. And I would admit it a policy. What I said to the players in the dressing room would stay in the dressing room, if that's the case, because it's the only way. The players... You, you, will, you will lose a lot of respect for coming out or for, for criticising some player. In, and that player may be able to handle it. He may not be able to handle it at all. But your job is to try and improve this player. And you're not, certainly not going to improve him if you are publicly hammering him. So it, it, it probably could end up doing more harm than good if Dabo doesn't take it on board or takes well, it on the chin. Well, it won't do any good. Let me put it this way, because the next day... You know what? You might have a couple of players in there. Will I be next week? You know, will it happen to me next week if yeah. that's the case? Yeah. And uh, and I understand people want to try and make a make a, a name for themselves in the game. You know, I want to be... A, you know, maybe be a, a little bit different if that's the case, but not for me. Go on. Listen, I mean, the person that hurts the most is probably Troy. Right. Maybe he's in a bad mood because he's been forced to eat vegan food by Del Vince, and that's probably not helped his temper. Right? <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I, I come from the position of I really like Troy Deeney. You know, I did a podcast with him and got to understand his story and the changes in his life and the adjustments he's made by some of the self-induced adversity that he put himself through. And I think he's a solid, decent lad. I think that it would be ironic because I suspect that he'd probably be in the camp knowing him as I do, that if a manager came out and did to him what he did to others, <laughs> he'd probably be quite irate about it. I just think it's a young guy 
in a club that's bottom of the football league um, with a group of players that he's learning to manage and he will have learnt a lesson there. Whether he's lost a player as a result of it, whether whether there is a whether there is a whether there is an immorality about the way players are allowed to get away with things, this is the rules of engagement. You're not going. You don't need to have the public know what you think of him. He needs to know what you think of him, and he needs to be told no uncertain terms if that's what you think about him. But you don't need the media to be given the benefit of that. You don't need the fans if you're doing that for the fans. A group of fans will appreciate. You could do tell those players. It'll be the same set of fans that are going. You're not managing those fans, those players properly. That was an unwise move. There's no benefits in dragging it in the public domain unless you've exhausted every other possibility and there's no other way of doing it and that ultimately you feel that there's a constructed, confected plan in your mind. And even then, I think it's a fool's errand. Bomb him. If you don't want to play on your team, bomb him. <laughs> well, Troy Deeney... It's, <laughs> there's Troy, a rawness Troy, about it, isn't there? Right. Troy Deeney has been a player for quite a number of years. He's been in dressing rooms where he has probably endured some sort of criticism from managers and he has probably taken a lot of praise from managers, quite rightly so. What he would not have been expecting the criticism to be uh, then publicised yeah. publicised in the next 25 minutes after he's just uh, after he's just endured his his uh, his comments so it's not as if to say that this is the fir- the first time i understand that you do learn you absolutely do learn but that would be something that you would have thought about in management first of all first thing you do First thing you're thinking about, don't be criticising the Did players you, in public. When you when I, you come out of, when you come out as a player and you end up at Wickham Wanderers, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Very, very early in your career yep. with Ivor. Right? Yeah. Did you never misstep or do anything vaguely resembling something like that at the very beginning of your journey? Still close to oh, being a player. <laughs> Oh, did I did I did I make um, a lot of mistakes? Did I sound uh, absolutely? No, so, of course I did. But this. I don't. I don't. It's getting back to it. I think I had in my head a couple of. I can't call them principles at the end of the day. You know, I keep quoting that great one. You know, yeah, Marx, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I do. So it's not. A, <clears throat> it was. It was thoughts that I had in management that I thought to myself. Well, what, what I'll do is that it's not. I need to tell the players what I think of them. I need to tell them so that if I can criticise them, I can also praise them at the same time. If I can go over the top and praise, I can certainly the players can take the criticism. But I did not think that even even in my days at Wickham Wonders, and who would want to be listening to the Vauxhall Conference at the end of the day? But it's not as if to say that I was racing out there to make sure that I would hammer centre half for missing three headers. I don't think I did it. Did I make mistakes? Absolutely. Do I continue to do that? Only every single day. But uh, <laughs> only every day. But let me put it this way. I don't think so. I honestly yeah. don't think so. Yeah. Well, Troy, apologise to the fella and life goes on, but maybe he's learned. We shall see. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.